So if you are watching this video, you might actually be looking at upgrading a kit lens or you've just upgraded. Now you really need to understand the basic limitations of what the kit lens can do. Now, once you understand those basic limitations, then it is probably best that you actually do upgrade. Let me explain. What's going on my friends? My name's Jason Morrison. Today I'm gonna to talk about why you would be upgrading from your kit lens. Now firstly, I'd just like to stop and say thank you to all my subscribers so far. I'm up to about 2,600 subs. Um, really appreciate your support. I am a small channel, but I am putting as much effort into these videos as possible for you guys. Anyway, let's get back into the video. So like I said before, you wanna understand the basic limitations of the kit lens to pretty much justify why you're buying a new lens because this lens can pretty much do everything, right? Well, not really. If you buy a different lens, you can actually get a faster lens. Kit lenses are notorious for having a variable aperture. So variable aperture means that the aperture changes through the zoom range. So this is a 16 to 50, 3.5 to 5.6. That means at 60 millimeters, it's 3.5. And then when you zoom out to 50 millimeters, it goes to 5.6. Now, if you do upgrade from this, you could go the 18 to 105 F4. So that is a constant aperture range. So at 18 millimeters, it's, it's F4. And at 105 millimeters, it's F4 as well. So in my last videos, I obviously explained what an aperture is as well. So aperture controls the depth of field and also the amount of light you can reach into your sensor. So the big thing with depth of field also is it's not just controlled by aperture, but it's controlled by focal length, obviously the aperture, uh, distance away from the subject, and also uh, the sensor size. So the kit lenses are notorious for not having sharp quality. Now, because they are very basic lenses that are sold with the cameras to make it like a little bit of a bundle and to get you started in that camera system. I did do a review on the 16 to 50, so you can check that out. And I did the review on the, uh, the 28 to 70 mil as well for the full frame range. So generally when you upgrade from the kit lens, uh, it is good to go for prime lenses as well. Um, you still can get zoom lenses because you do have that nice focal range where you can change, but prime lenses are generally sharper. If you go for a, uh, say a Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4 in the APS-C range, you will find that thing is extremely sharp through the whole range, aperture range, the 1.4, F2, F4, F5.6, it is just tack sharp. So the sharpness is a big thing when it comes to upgrading from that kit lens. So if you understand these two major qualities, then you're probably actually ready to upgrade from your kit lens. There are a few lenses that I actually recommend for the Sony APS-C range, which are absolutely tack sharp and great for your money. They are under about $500 and I'll list them right now. So the 16 millimeter 1.4 by Sigma. This lens is absolutely brilliant. It is tack sharp and I have done a review. You can click on the link above and you'll actually see how good this lens performs. Plus it's a 1.4. So it gives you really nice shallow depth of field and it is extremely good in low light situations. Now next is the Sigma 30 millimeter 1.4. Now I haven't actually done a review on this yet, but I actually got it before my 16 millimeter. I really need to get onto that 30 millimeter 1.4 review because it is an absolute beast of a lens. It is tack sharp and it is a really good focal range. So it's about a 45 millimeter equivalent when it comes to full frame. The next lens is the 50 millimeter 1.8 OSS. Now this one is designed for the APS-C range, so it's not the 50 millimeter 1.4 FE. That one's for the full frame. This one is the APS-C range. This one is absolutely amazing because it does have OSS, which is optical steady shot. It is really good for video work because you get nice steady footage paired with if you've got IBIS in your camera or if you don't, that's fantastic because at least the lens will have your steady shot. And the 50 millimeter is pretty much a 75 millimeter equivalent lens. So it's a really nice telephoto range, uh, great for portraiture, or you can still take it on uh, street photography or travel photography as well. 
So that's it from me, guys. Please hit that like button below. Comment below if you have uh, any other lenses other than your kit lens. Uh, let me know what kind of gear you have. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you already haven't. Like I said, thank you for all my subscribers. I really, really appreciate it uh, in making my, or helping my channel grow. Uh, make sure you hit that bell notification so you can get notified when my next videos come out. Guys, my name's Jason Morris, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's get it.